the when the Biden family went to mob school, I believe they fell asleep during the money laundering because it is very clear where the money's coming from, the communist Chinese and many of our enemies across this, this world. And it flows right into their bank accounts. There's a clear direct line there. Um, let me get let me get back to Director Ray in a moment. Uh, but I do yes, want to uh, mention this, that absolutely, according to the Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, on record, Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump made up to six hundred forty million dollars while her father was in office and they were official advisors to the president. If you would explain to our viewers why the Hunter Biden scenario is different. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Exactly. Now, I admit it's a low bar when the simplest of retorts stand out. But when you have takes like this on the same network, it makes sense. Did you just say that the whistleblower or the informant is now missing? Well, we, we're hopeful that we can find the informant. Now, remember, these informants are, are kind of in the, the spy business. By the way, Marjorie Taylor Greene told me that the informant is not missing, but he fears for his life. James Comer on Sunday said that uh, the informant was missing uh, and that the White House was interfering in his investigation. Is the Fox News host Arthur Neville held an interview with vice cheerleader for the Dog Ate My Whistleblower team, Representative Tim Burchett. And as part of the course, he tried to eat up as much airtime recycling James Comer's promises made, nothing proved form of rationale. The, when the Biden family went to mob school, I believe they fell asleep during the money laundering because it is very clear where the money's coming from, the communist Chinese and many of our enemies across this, this world, and it flows right into their bank accounts. There's a clear direct line there. And um, and for the FBI not to pay any attention to it, you know, they went after George Santos and he's relatively small potatoes in the scheme of things. But yet when it turns out to be the president of the United States' his involvement in his family in crime enterprises, then they seem to turn their head. So we've got a real problem. Um, I, I salute Speaker McCarthy for for getting with uh, Director Ray. I think they're going to be talking this Thursday. I would hope that uh, Director Ray understands I'm a, I'm that a, Congress is. But I missed it. The Fox News host simply responded with what most Americans, I imagine, are thinking. Where was this outrage when Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump benefited greatly from her father's presidency? All the mere billions that Kushner pocketed just days after Trump left office. Let me oh, yeah. get let me get back to Director Ray in a moment. Uh, but I do yes, want to uh, mention this, that absolutely, according to the Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, on record, Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump made up to six hundred forty million dollars while her father was in office and they were official advisors to the president. If you would explain to our viewers why the Hunter Biden scenario is different. Well, during the Trump administration, those those transactions were not hidden. Um, they're on bank forms. There was not violations filed because of that. They are that was was business dealings that they were doing, and they are business people. Whether it was, uh, I think that that it should be looked at as well. But if there were no violations, where there are clear violations in the Biden administration, you know, this is a Democrat controlled organization that that issued these violations, ma'am. So um, I think that, that that draws a direct line to the corruption that's involved there. So if the problem is corruption and compromise, wouldn't any income uh, of, such, of that substantial amount be problematic for our country uh, while someone is in office and their family members are receiving those sorts of uh, payments? I think so. There's There should be no stone left unturned. But Apparently, this is one that they they refuse to even look at. So I think that that shines a straight light right at the, the Biden administration currently. And if the Trump administration bring it forward, if the Democrats have something, bring it forward. Do they control all the investigative bodies in, in Washington? Why are they not bringing it forward if there is, in fact, something there? You mentioned uh, now this is not the first time the same case has found its way onto the Fox News airwaves. A lot of discussion during the Trump White House years that uh, there was collusion with Russia. There were massive investigations, millions of dollars spent. And always the question, you know, what what is what are they getting in return? So do you have the same question for the Biden family when you look at this money transaction? What 
was China getting in return? Is that something Americans must know? Well, it, it, we haven't established, uh, Congresswoman May said to you when you asked the question directly, Martha, have you established a connection between this money going to uh, Hunter Biden's, uh, to Bo Biden's widow and the Chinese? And she said, well, we're going to continue investigating. But she can't say there's any tie, and I can't say there's any tie. Uh, what we have is a check to a widow from someone who was paid by the Chinese with no context. We don't know what this money was for. In fact, the same person had sent checks to her before there was any payment from the Chinese. Uh, it seems to me like, you know, when you mentioned what's going on with the Trump administration, you would, and I think Jamie Raskin is onto this as well, the congressman from Maryland who's on the committee, saying, you know, why aren't we investigating uh, the Trump accounting firms? Or why don't you look into things like Jared Kushner getting $2 billion directly from the Saudis after former President Trump bragged about protecting the Saudi prince. As you can imagine, it is scarce amidst the rest of the coverage that feeds the succession writer's room like a chat GDP bot on steroids. But when it does happen, the stutters, the silence, the pandering, well, just as fun to watch. Uh, I'm not gonna disclose that new name because that uh, really changes things because uh, what we assumed was this was just about the president's son and two brothers. But now there's a new name that's emerged. So, and, and they are a Biden. So we've got a problem here uh, with respect to trying to determine what exactly this family was doing uh, to to receive okay. these okay. transactions from China. Th this is important. And I think every American yeah. should be concerned about yeah, that. This I, I is an it. issue of national security. Yeah, Let, let's see where it goes, okay? It's been five years, and yeah. what do we have for it? Five years, long time to investigate. Of what exactly the Biden family was doing with our adversaries in China. Okay, we will see where the next chapter leads. James Comer, thank you for your time. It's, um, it's rather incendiary, and we'll see whether or not you're onto something. Again, five uh, years investigating. Nothing just yet. The best part of waking up? Maggot tears in my cup. Check out the new Maggot tears mug available now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.